This is Randy Boysenault. Watch this greasy minister. Lie under questioning. Randy Boysenault owns a company that received $110 million of Canadian taxpayers' money while he was a minister. Minister, how much have you been paid by Navis Group? Uh, Mr. Barrett, that is a matter that took place while I was a private citizen, and those issues, if you want to find out how much I made as a private citizen, I refer you to the Ethics Commissioner. What are your holdings of the one-numbered company that you have, 2050877 Alberta Limited? That is not my company. You, do you have a numbered company? I do, and when I was working with the Commissioner of Ethics to wrap up my uh, private affairs to become a public uh, official again, they indicated that I should use the legal name of the holding company, which I did. So you do have a numbered company? And, I do, but it's and, not the one you mentioned. And you have a trading name for that company? I do not. So what's the legal name of the company? 226956 Alberta Limited. Okay, and what does it hold? It holds investments. Does it have any interest in the Navis company? No, it does not. You have draw income from that company, though? I do not. Mr. Barrett, I remind you, but I'm going to give flexibility because both sides strayed on this issue. The only ones that stood to relevancy with Madame Shabbat and Madame Zarillo on the matter before the committee, but the minister did elaborate. Did elaborate. Uh, I understand the rules, Mr. Cooper. Mr. Uh, Barrett, you have the floor. So, 225. 6956 Alberta Limited, does it uh, or did it own uh, the GHI, uh, Global Health Initiative, the uh, pandemic supply resale company? Does it, does it own that? It has, there's 50, there's shares in that holding company. There are shares in, mm -hmm. in that company, in GH, GHI? Mm -hmm. Okay. So since you've been a minister, have you received any payments from Navis Group? As is declared in my conflict of interest and ethics submission, yes, and that was organized with the conflict of interest and ethics. Okay, so submission. so let's just let's just back this up because Mr. Cooper asked you the same question, and I'm asking you the question, and I asked how much you've been paid, and you said, well, that, none of that happened since I was a minister. So there's there's a bit of confusion here. How much have you been paid since you've been a minister by that company? That is, those are so, Mr. Barrett. The um, I'll give you an example. There is, Mr. Chair, some thinking here that I have had one client. Westminster Foundation for Democracy was a client. The Global Equality Caucus was a client. The United Nations Development Program was a client. The Black Gold School Division was a client. And, uh, Mr. Barrett, I'm going to respond to you here. There is a, pardon? Xenix? Xenix is a company. It's the other company that I own that is also dormant. It's also wrapped up and fully disclosed. And let me be, let me be really clear. Part of the reason that it indicates that that uh, Minister, funds are owed to my company. Much. The question was Michael, how much. This is, a, this is a really long story to just no, tell me not. How, how much. The United much? Nations Development Program still owes uh, the company funds, and that's two and a half years later. So that is part of, that is why you see the declaration. And if you want to understand how much money I made as a private citizen. I want to understand how much you you're getting paid by this company while you're a minister. A question which is not relevant to what the committee is meeting for today. And this committee met at length to set its agenda for today uh but you're appearing uh, as a committee member today and you do have the right to direct questions in relevancy uh, if you're going to continue i will then uh ensure that the minister has the chance to respond should he choose so mr minister answer that question before mr Baird. Uh, th th this is uh it's really unbelievable because you haven't answered the question and um, and it was a complete, the answer you gave was a complete non sequitur to the question that was that's asked. Not, Do you Barrett, have that's a not true. duty These... to arrange your private affairs in a manner that prevents a conflict of interest? But in this case, you arranged your private affairs in the manner of a hundred, in the matter of a $110 million federal grant to a federally regulated organization with federal government representatives right. There's on no, its board. Mr. Chair. To which Mr. Chair, they benefited monetarily. That is there, not true Barrett, whatsoever. 
I'm going to give the minister a chance to respond so, to a question so that is not. I haven't relevant. finished asking the question. The, well, it's, I, I made it. I, I can't I answer a question that's full of falsehoods. And, and he interrupted me through. He interrupted me throughout yes, the question. Yes, and your question is full of falsehoods. Questioning in an area that the rules of the House adopted is uh, it, it's really it, it's black and white. And Mr. Barrett, yeah, Mr. Long here. was Mr. Long was allowed to proceed on a on a line of question that was that was favorable to the minister. My questions, just because they're uncomfortable for the minister, no, I think that, that yes, that, and I agreed to let him go, providing you let the minister respond. But I will, he, I will he, ask he, the minister. I didn't to finish respond. asking the question. Uh, okay, then finish your question, Mister uh, Mister Barrett. Quickly, Minister, did you participate in funding announcements for this organization from a company that you are still cashing checks from? No, Mister Chair. Well, that's not I true. am Minister. For Alberta, and if there's an announcement that's happening in my province, and I I can go to it, I will go to it. At no point, since got Mr. Them the Barrett, money, Mr. Barrett, got them the money and they that, got that is not it. true. That is simply not true. Mr. The uh, opportunity, very quickly and shortly, because this is going to end. We're going sure. to move on. Your time has gone by. I've allowed you I to have, stay in the question, Mr. Mr. Chair. Minister, to be really clear, quickly. crystal clear, I have never had line authority to provide any funding to the Edmonton International Airport. Or quite frankly, any of any any of the clients that I mentioned, I've not been Minister of Transport, I've not been Minister of Prairies Can. Will I announce something that's in my region that supports a major airport for the jobs? Absolutely I will. No monies were transferred and that grant went Thank to the Edmonton you, Airport, Barrett. not a company. Thank in you, question. Mr.